All right. So in this case, I want us to consider our maximum power transfer theorem, uh, which is important for us to uh, consider the basics of our revisions. So as you worked before with all other theorems, this is the last theorem that we are going to have uh, in our syllabus for N4 as we do understand uh, the additionals that we had of our theorems. So meaning to say, we also need to consider uh, our maximum power transfer. The maximum uh, power transfer. Let us say we are given uh, a network or a certain given circuit diagram, just like what we had on the Thevenin, you are going to consider uh, that part to say all the calculate. Actually, this is guys a a a, a continuation of the the thevenin. Remember from your thevenin, you had something of this nature, A and B. Then you have got uh, this was any given network or circuit diagram that you had, and we saw that it was equivalent to the thevenin's circuit, which is having a voltage which is our VTEV with the resistance in a series as we saw that RTEV was in a series then we connect this now back to the uh, we connect back our load resistor on these points A and B you have that load resistor okay this is what we had when you were having your Thevenin's theorem so that nothing is going to change. So when a, when the DC voltage source provides maximum power, the variable load resistor only, it can happen that only when this resistance and this given other resistor are equal. When these two resistances are equal, we have what we call the maximum power transfer. So we are saying in this case, the maximum power, uh, that is the maximum power can be transferred in this case, if or when RL and RTF are equal, the load resistor is equal to RTF. When these two resistors are equal, then maximum power is being dissipated in the load resistor. Where we do understand this, we're gonna have our load current, whatever that you have there. So everything will be from the Thevenin's equivalent circuit from, so it's simply from uh, the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. From the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, the maximum power can be transferred when RL is equal to RTF. So for that, the maximum power is therefore given as that maximum power is now is therefore given as a quarter of V squared, which is our Thevenin's voltage over RTF, which is the one that we are calling RL is equal to RTF. So this you can simply uh, write it like this, uh, maximum power is equal, you can take this four down, so it will be uh, V squared theft like this over four other theft like that. So this is the formula that you are going to use to calculate that maximum power as we do understand that the maximum, I mean the power is measured in watts. So whatever that you have there will be in watts. But this being the maximum power when RL is equal to theft. So as we can see, this is directly a follow-up of the Thevenin's theorem. Of the Thevenin's theorem. Because you cannot talk of the Thevenin's equivalent circuit where RL is equal to RTF without the, so it's just your RTF. So the first stage is everything RTF. It's going to be from our Thevenin's uh, theorem. So that is what we are seeing here. Calculating maximum power across the load resistor we are given. Consider the circuit in Fig 1.15a from 
1.5. That is what you're given there. In this example, 1.5. From example, 1.5, sorry. Calculate the maximum power transfer across the load resistor, uh, which is R4. So you're going to need R4. So that's why you give us the note. You need to apply all steps for calculating the valence resistance and the valence voltage before calculating maximum power. It's, it's a continuation that we had before. Because we talk of the equivalent circuit of what? Thevin. So we worked uh, with this circuit, if we still remember. So I want you to check on the introduction uh, when I talked about the Thevenin's uh, theorem, the introduction video. Uh, we talked about this. So we calculated everything from there. If you still remember everything, we had calculated our Thevenin's. Okay, our other thev in that case. Uh, remember, it was we calculated this. Uh, let's start with V thev. Remember, it was eight volts. Other thev. Oh, let's just save it again. Maybe it can help someone. But just also go through the the introduction so that here I'm not gonna waste much time on calculating this. All right. So, uh, to calculate V thev, just gonna open there the part of uh the load resistor. Like I said, you're gonna have something like this. All right, so this is what you have. And this is our R3. So in case that you did not watch that, make sure make sure that you go through that video that can help you to understand about the definition we talked about, the same circuit, this one. Uh, so that is our points A and B, where we have removed the load resistor, R4. Remember, we're talking about R4. So R3 is going to remain as it is. R2 as it is, R1 and V1. So we can calculate the voltage uh, which is across the points A and B, which is directly the voltage just after R2, like I said. So you're not going to consider this R3. So that means our V theft, which is the voltage across the terminals of A and B, can be given from the voltage divider rule. So it's going to be R2 over the sum of these two resistors, R1 and R2, times uh, V1, which is the supply. So that was going to give us V theft. Our R2, we have it here, which is 12, over the sum, R1 and R2, 6 plus 12. So that's 6 plus 12 times V1, which is 12 in that case. So that was going to give us uh, our V theft, which is 8 volts. And from there, Remember from your thevenin, you need arathev, which is the resistance that you take considering all voltage sources with short circuit and replaced by their internal resistances. So we have to calculate arathev. So you're going to have this with a short circuit V1. Uh, going to R2. We are going to have R3. Remember, there was R3 there, like this. So this is across the points A and B. So this is our R3, R2, and R1. So looking in this circuit, how are these resistors connected? These are in parallel, then added to R3, which would be in series. So meaning to say our RF, which is the resistance across the points A and B, was going to be the product over some of the parallel combination of R1 and R2. So that's R1 plus R2 uh, plus R3. Just like that. So that was going to give us R theft. The product over sum, R1 by R2. We have them, R1 and R2 here, 6 by uh, 12 over 6 plus 12. Whatever that you obtain, you're going to add R3, which is going to be in series, which is 10 ohms. So that's going to add our R3, which is 10. And that was going to give us R3, which is uh, 14 ohms. So just go through also the introduction where I explained uh, all the necessary procedures. They said that here, yeah, I'm just, guys, we know our thev and in. Having our V thev and our R thev, the maximum power is now transferred on a condition that you are going to have instead on our Second, this is where we had our V thev. So we are going to have R thev in this case here. 
and this is going to be our R. But we are saying these two, they will be equal. Our RL will be equal to RL for maximum power to be transferred. RL and RL are the same. So we are going to take our RL as the RL that we obtained. Then we can calculate our maximum power there that is being transferred. So RL is supposed to be equal to RL, meaning to say we are going to use the value of RL that we got, which is 14 ohms. And here we shall be having 14 ohms. Our V theft, remember, it was 8 volts. So the maximum power that will be transferred on this resistor, we saw that from that formula, it can be calculated as when it is like this, you simply use voltage over 4 times resistance, which is our Thevenis voltage, and this is our Thevenis resistance. Just like that. So meaning to say, in this case, our maximum power uh, was going to give us V squared, our Thevenis uh, voltage, which is 8. So that was going to be 8 squared over the product of 4 and uh, the Thevenis, which is our RTF or our RL. Remember, this uh, part is just the same. So you can just consider any one of them. So that was going to give us uh, the maximum power transferred. And that is 1,143 watts. So as we can see, all this part, it is a continuation from the Thevenin. So you can simply say the maximum power transfer, it works hand in hand with what we had from our Thevenin. It's a continuation, the VTEV, the RTEV, the equivalent circuit, only that RL is now equal to RTEV for maximum power to okay. Anything besides that is going, is going to give us a power which is less than uh, that one that we are seeing at the, at the maximum power. So that is all our questions might be given as, let us just continue to revise as many questions as we can uh, and do also question papers to see how do they ask uh, these questions.